Oh, there were times that I knew my wife was dead. Because I wake up and see her dying. And I command her to come back to life more than five times. But that was a journey. But you know what? What Jephthah failed to understand is that the meaning of top means good and pleasing. So whatsoever you are going through, it is good. That is why the Bible said, all things works together for say whatsoever is happening to me. It is for good. So the Lord stirred up war. And nobody could fight the Ammonite better than Jephthah. So the Bible said, they came and looked for Jephthah. Then Jephthah said, did it two people hate me? So it wasn't just about inheritance, it was hatred. Did it two people hate me? The reason why the enemy is fighting is because he hates you. And you cannot determine who should hate you and who should not. And that is why you cannot be careless. And that was my problem. I felt everybody was like me. I felt everybody was innocent. Chapter said, didn't you hate me? But what did the elders say? He said, that is why we have come. Without hatred, your enemies cannot come to you. Without rejection, your enemies cannot come and promote you. So you need rejection. You need pain. You need shame to be famous. I'm receiving calls all over the world now. They gave me free publicity. For years, I've avoided posters. It took people like your pastor to forcefully put me on posters. And they gave me free publicity. What you call shame is a public showcase for you. What you call pain is a setup for your promotion. Come on, receive it! went to Tob alone. But when he was coming back, he came with the elders. And now the elders cannot talk to Jephthah anyhow. Do you know why? Because he was in charge. From today you will be in charge. Anybody who spoke to you anyhow, now they will look for you and they will greet you, yes sir, Massa, the devil thinks you are finished. They may not even think you deserve to have that house. Come, come, come. Pastor, come. Now, here am I. Sit down. I come. Stand here. And I'm looking for the head pastor of the church. And I come. And push your pastor aside. Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? Are you correct? I'm looking for the head pastor. Then you go. Hello, sir. How are you? I thank God for your life. Please, I'm looking for the man of God. I came to honor him. I respect his ministry. I trust God that he will be a blessing to me. And I presume you are the man of God. You shake your head and you say, now the person you rejected, the person you pushed aside, now you are forced to turn back and come to him. Anybody that pushed you aside, anybody that rejected you, will turn back and look for you. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Can I put it now? Those times, I, some years ago, I had visitors from the UK. And when they came, all my boys had gone out to pray for the, for the archbishop. And I called the archbishop that I had visitors so I can come. And I begged him to release the, 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 the boys for me in time. He agreed and released them. So, when they came, I opened the gate for them because there was nobody in the house. So, when I opened the gate, they all shook me. And thank God, I'm a very tall man. And very huge in size. So, when, he, when, when they saw me, they did not greet me. They just looked at me. Can we go inside? 
I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. They got up. I said, can I open the gate for you? Can I open the door for you? He said, yeah, no problem. So I opened the door and went inside. I said, honey, they have come. They said they are looking for the prophet. They saw the prophet, but they are looking for the prophet. So maybe it's my outfit. Let me go and wear Jolomi. Maybe they will value me. But my wife said, you're welcome. Would you like to take anything? Spoke very nicely. You know my wife can talk. She's very nice. When they finish, the prophet will be with you in a jiffy. Ah. Now it's my turn. And normally, normally, I'm not mindful of how I walk. But that day, I decided to walk like a prophet. Chia. Are you back where you Then I began to walk. I walked. And I'm seeing somebody walking like that to the castle. To your new job. To your office. Into your marriage. Into America. Into your private jet. Into your new car. You are just walking. Yes, be mindful, be mindful. Yes, Jaftar, Jaftar. When he saw the elders come, and he knew the elders were waiting for him, he changed his style of walking. What he rehearsed most of the times, he now began to calculate how John Mahama walked, how Kufo walked, and how ex president John Rawlings walks. And then he combined Obama's own. Then he began to walk. Those times he said, Doctor. But now he watched Obama say, Doctor. So he changed his tongue also. That is what you have to do in your rejection. Change your style. Change your work. Add value to your life. And your enemies will appreciate you. Come on, shout, add value. Look. So I got to the hall and sat down. And I said, I'm told you are looking for the prophet. He said, yes. I said, I am he. I am he. Then the man and the wife. Because God has given us power. Woman, close your legs and add value. Because what you have, you know, you need to understand that just one thing you have is so powerful enough to pull the strongest man down. Your hair can slay a man. So close your legs and use your eyes. Close your legs and use a humbrasia. Humility. It will work. Look, there are times all you have to say, ask me, I don't like that. Too. If it's not on, it's not in. Then he brings a condom to you. He said, no, not that one. I mean, if it's not on, and you know you are not a virgin, you know if you are a madman slept with you, but now what you have is called value. Chapter <laughs> added value to his life. So now, when they came, and I said, I'm here, they nailed down. They nailed down. Today, anybody that looked down upon you, will bow down and look up to you. I said they will look up to you. Jephthah went alone. Maybe you are going through this same alone. You are going through this humiliation alone. You are going through this poverty stricken life alone. But by the time God brings you out, you will walk with the elders. You will walk with the elders. Now, he wanted to be the head of his father's house. But now, he's become the head of the whole community. Hey, can I speak to you now? You wanted a man who is a banker. But God says, I will give you a man who owns a bank. Receive it. You wanted a driver. But God says, I'm going to give you a car owner. That is what God is doing. You ask for one, he said, I'll give you seven. Receive double for your trouble. 
he went to talk. Now, Misfab is a place of agreement. So, they stood at a place and that was the burnt offering. And they were trying to say, Lord, be a witness to this thing. Let all the living witnesses be a witness to this day. That if they fail to make me king, then you will strike them. Today, God is bringing you to a point where if your children or your family or the enemy does not leave you alone, God has no option to kill them. If they don't leave you to go and marry, God will kill them. If they don't leave you alone to prosper, God will take their lives. Now, Japheth, who was nobody, has become somebody. Stand on your feet tonight.